Today we're going to solve defining an IP address. Given a valid IP address, we have to return a defined version of that IP address. A defined IP address replaces every period or every dot with the open bracket dot closing brackets. So this is an example. If we have one dot one dot one dot one, we have to return that string. And then if you have this IP address, which is a valid one, we need to return that string. So basically we have to surround the dots with open and closed brackets. This is a solution in C++. First, I want to have a const string for my open brackets and also for my closing brackets. So now I need a for loop to loop through my string, which is the address here, the IP address from start to finish. I need to check at every iteration if the current character here is equal to a dot. If it is, then I need to insert at that position this open brackets. Instead of simply having a dot, I'm going to have something like open brackets and then dots. Now that I've added my character there, I need to push my i index counter by one so that here I can say add my closing brackets after the dots. So i plus one. So it's very important to know how this method works. Basically in C++, you can use the string insert method and you can insert a string value or you can also insert a character. In our case, I'm using a string value. That's why here you see that open and close are of type const string. So now that we've added the brackets surrounding the dots, we'll repeat that at every iteration. But keep in mind that the size of the string is going to grow anytime we insert new values. So this is going to loop until we are done and then we return the string, which is the address. So now let's run this code. We've passed the sample test cases. Let's submit. And we have our solution here, three milliseconds, and we passed everything. You can try and speed up this algorithm if you want. I think it's good enough. There was no timeout and we passed everything. So I'll take it as a good solution. So if you like my lead code solutions and you like my coding videos, Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.